Green Gales Junior B Lacrosse is brought to you by Booster Juice Highway Number 2 in Bowmanville, just west of the Ricker Complex. A familiar but not always friendly foe, the Western Ironheads taking on the Green Gales. Both teams missing some key players through injuries, Junior A call-ups. Just under two minutes in, Andrew Kidd at the initial stop, but John McKinney is first to the rebound. He'll score a second of the season and first at home to give the Green Gales the lead. Less than a minute later, Cameron McKinnis uses his feet to create some space, finds a lane, and whips a shot past Ethan Harwood to tie things at one all. Second period, the Ironheads move up the floor in a hurry. Kid starts it off. Ball makes its way to Braden Niemi, who is stopped by Harwood. Ryan Moran wins a loose ball. He has a clear path to the goal until he's tracked down by Captain Quinn Highland with some nice defensive hustle. McKinney looking for his second of the game, but Kidd makes a cross-crease move to keep this game tight at one. And McKinney was denied from a close range. Bryce Dennis from distance is not. His eighth goal of the season will stake the Green Gales to a 2-1 lead after two, and Harwood would make sure it would stay that way thanks to this arm stop in the late stages of the second. Tied at two now, the Ironheads with the extra attacker looking to win at the final shot, but... Harwood makes sure Kyle Irving doesn't grab a dramatic game winner. Overtime for a third time for the Ironheads this season. A win and a tie to show for it. Kidd keeps it tied with a big save. Another one coming up, but uh, this time Connor Platt will go high to make it 3-2 for the Green Gales. A minute 39 later, we're tied again. Wiley Rogers through a crowd and through Harwood. 3-3 is the score, and that's the way it'll end. There's not always handshakes between these two teams after a game, but this time there was. Ironheads and Green Gales will battle for three, ti three times in seven days. Among the AP players for the Green Gales in this game, the son of Founders Cup winning coach Jason Crosby, Jared. Uh, I found out about a week ago, and I wasn't entirely prepared to like play all game, but you know, I got out there. Coach really wanted me to play, and I was just fired up to get out on the floor. I mean, it means a lot to me to be able to play for the team I've always looked up to. You know, being able to get called up at such a young age and having everyone behind me and pushing me forward is just an amazing thing to have. Yeah, so, you know, I just played my hardest out there, tried to limit all the goals, all the shots I could. And, you know, not, not the outcome he wanted, but also not a loss, so happy with that. Uh, I feel like it was very odd that we didn't end up coming out, or nobody came out on top with a win, and I think the boys played their hearts out, and we just got a couple unlucky bounces on O, and we played some hard D, and got a couple unlucky bounces on D, so we did what we could. Uh, I think we did a really good job just like keeping the shots to the outside, getting out of hands. We slipped up a couple times on getting up to hands. For the most part, the boys communicated on the floor, and they were able to fight through the picks and screens and get out on the hands. I mean, the, the team's feeling good. Uh, we just got a couple of mistakes we got to clean up for Saturday when we get them. Uh, we're in their barn and just it's just something I have to kind of get in my head every game. It's just like we take one game at a time and sort of forget about the last one if it doesn't go well. If it does go well, uh, we take the, the good stuff and carry it on to the next one.